Well, hello everyone. It has been a while, yet again, since I made a video. <laughs> Just haven't been as interested, I guess, but... Yeah, I've been very busy with stuff. Um, what updates are there? Well, my ankle's pretty much all healed up. It's... I can run. I'm running. I'm exercising. I'm doing all that fun, good stuff, so that's good. Um, still a little bit hurts when I go to flex it, and there's still one spot that has a bit of a bruise on it, but, you know. So let's say, what have I been doing? Well, I've been very, very busy, um, mostly with just like website, web design stuff. Oh, I just love that so much. The so web programming, design, the layout, all of it. I used to like the, the more programming part, but now I'm like really liking the actual design part of it. It's just, I have all these ideas that I want to implement. I just need to know how to implement them. So that's kind of what I've been doing lately. So I don't know when, how often I'll be making um, actual videos. So just letting you know that now. I don't know when I'll be back making videos to, I guess the thing is work on the website, make the website look nice, but you ha I have to put content on it. You know, it's not just making the website. I have to put content on it. So I have to make the videos. I have to put, put, the, put out the articles and everything. So making a lot of changes and I just wanted to kind of show you some of that. Well, I wanted to show you some, some of the coding here of what I just finished up today. This really, cra <laughs> this really crazy thing. You'd be like, oh my gosh. So if any of you understand this, then congratulations. This is like, it's like a whole other language. It really is. So we're safe. Let's see if you, if you, if you get it. And I want to show you some of the changes that I want to make to it. Ha ha ha. Yes, here we are. Here's the function that I just created today. <laughs> Any idea what any of this means? <laughs> this is all PHP code. This is, you don't actually see, um, you, you see what this ends up doing. You know, you don't see any of this code actually on the site, but basically what this does, I created a function here. I had for each of my articles, there's a view counter. And that's what this does. This calculates the view counter based on another function that's on, on, on the website as a plugin. Um, which, speaking of which, it's very interesting because there's one video of mine that's like really ranking high in search engines. Um, there's one article. It almost, the article has almost as many views as the YouTube video, so it's, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. But anyway, this function here, post view count, it def defaults it to zero first. And then it uses this other function here. This is a plugin that I found for WordPress that um, essentially gets the page views from Google Analytics, which is what I use on my site to track your activity. <laughs> but yeah, it gets that, it gets that, it uses that. So it checks if that function exists and I created this other thing here, which I'll get to that. So what it does is it calculates the page views by using that function. And this function, in this, um, this plugin, you can set a cache limit. So it's not always, accessing the the Google Analytics API which is what you need because you don't want to constantly access it because then you could go overboard and you know use up all your all your quota with a Google so I set that to an hour so each hour it gets a new view counter but I wanted to extend that more I could just simply just show this and be done but I, I wanted to extend it further so basically what I did only update once a day for post older, older than 24 hours so basically I created this here that essentially, if the post is within 24 hours of being posted, it'll always just get whatever the the, the um, post count or time is, which is good because for newer posts, you want that um, time to be updated. You know, I may I may change this, I may do some other things, but I, I created this created this all today. So then, what this does is after it after it uh, does does that, if the current time is greater then the current date, the, the post date plus one, which means it's, um, the, the views have been updated, then it creates this, this WordPress thing, tran transient for 24 hours. So each 20, each 24 hours, it'll update if it's, if the post is older than 24 hours. So then going down here, if it does all that and it comes back with zero, which usually that would not be likely, but it, it will do it if this tran, tran transient doesn't exist. I mean, if it if it is um, if it doesn't come back with anything, then it will be zero. So then, what it does is it gets the uh, 
the meta tag that this thing creates, that this function creates up here. And then if that does exist, it gets that number and it converts it into an integer in a number, just in case it's not one. Usually it always will, will be. This, so this is just a kind of a fail safe. But if that doesn't exist, then it's just default to a zero, zero page views. And then down here, if, uh, if, if the views equal one, which is not likely because there's no, there's no chance someone's going to view, someone will, will only one person will, will view the article. And then it'll just return, you know, one view versus views because one view doesn't sound good. Otherwise it will just bring back views like 10 views or zero views or whatever views there are. So all this works well. I mean, maybe there's an easier way of doing it. I don't know. This is the way that I did it. This is the way that I set it up. This, let me know. This is all self-taught. I taught myself all this. So, yeah. So let me show you what I kind of want to want to do with this site. So I had I, I was looking online for, of of some layouts. Like I want to change my website to, and I want to kind of show you that. So here's a layout here. This is the home page. There's a nice big image for like the newest article. Then there's some other lar larger ones. Here you can see, and then scrolling down is just other other stuff, stuff, and then it gets into smaller articles and everything. So that's kind of what I want to do on the home page. I want a large, the the biggest, the newest video and article. I want it to be bigger so it stands out and shows it off. And then some of the other new ones just kind of on the side. Good, I like that. Also want to do something like this on on the home page. So I want to have like a big article, and then for the other ones, I want it to be slimmer. Not a square because I don't have any square images as the thumbnail will be, you know, the widescreen rectangular image. But this is kind of how I, how I want it, it to look past there versus just, you know, a block for each one. And then for the actual article page, I kind of have something similar to this. I want the background image, um, currently whatever I have it at, um, and then the actual main article content here. I like this, how it's centered, it's nice and clean, and it's also like all open. See, it's, it's all like a white, a whitish color, and then the image extends out past it, past the actual content, scrolling down. So I really like, like this whole type of layout here, and I want to incorporate that. And as you can see, mine, mine has, you know, it kind of has this thing up here. And I scroll down and it kind of goes up. And again, I created all this, but it also has this sidebar as you can see. And I want to get rid of that entirely and just make it just like this one, just completely, you know, un uniform, just all the way down. That's really good. So I want to do that. I got ads here, like Infowars store. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to kind of just get that off just like that. So yeah, that will be good. That'll be very, very good. So comments, a whole bunch of stuff. So this is going to be very, very good. I'm really happy about this. Let me know what you think. So that is what I've been working on. If you understand it, then that's awesome. Let me know. I doubt anyone will, but if you know, you know, I do the PHP. I like, I like that. I do the JavaScript, which is a lot of the cool animations and all that sort of stuff. And then, of course, I know HTML, CSS, but sometimes there's a lot of advanced stuff. With, uh, with with CSS, so I don't know all of that. And again, this is all self-taught. I'm not a professional. You know, I'm not a pro at any of this. I just I just like doing it, messing around, searching up stuff, applying it my, myself. That was another cool thing that I added. When you go to play the video on the website and you scroll down the page, and this only happens when you're on desktop. When you're on a mobile phone, it doesn't do it. But when, you're, when you scroll down the page, the video player moves. And I added that, and that's good. That's really cool. Because that's that's that, that's like what a lot of a lot of websites do when you're playing a video and you scroll down the page, so you can actually watch the video in in like the corner of your browser window while you're reading the article. So whatever, whatever, whatever. So I'm very happy with the website. It's becoming more 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 popular. More and more people are visiting it. So I'm really happy with that. So I want to expand it and I need to add to it. I need to add more videos to it. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. If you use it, let me know what you like about it, what you want to see added to it, what you want it to change and all that stuff. Cause, oh, I just have so many ideas. So, yep, I'm going to end it now. So you all have a wonderful day and night and I will talk to you whenever I make another video. I don't know when. Okay. Bye-bye.